Let's talk about this first one. Starting from broke, how do I go rich? The very first thing I think about when I hear this is if you're broke and you're talking to yourself like, I'm broke, I'm poor, I ain't got no money, I need money, are you going to generate and feed the desperation muscle, the neediness muscle? Yes or no? Let me know in the chat. I see a lot of yeses. Yes. Good. A lot of you know this already. Good. So Jonah, this was your question and here's why I'm saying this. If you've never sold anything before, you've never written copy before, done ads before, video before, anything like that, I, one of the first things you'll learn is that neediness is repellent to money. Okay? Money hates neediness. I mean this not in some voodoo, the secret law of attraction way. I mean this like this is real fucking life. On a very practical level, if you meet someone and you can tell they just want your money, they're trying to sell you something. They just want to take, take, take. You are automatically repelled by that person. You want to move away from them. And as you, the human, move away from that person, so does your credit card. So does your wallet. So does your bank account. And therefore, the neediness is literally a money repellent. Again, money hates neediness. So if you are watching this right now, you're like, I'm broke. I don't have money. And if you're telling yourself things like, I need money right now, I just need to make 500 bucks. I just need to make 800 bucks. I just need to make 1600 bucks. I just need to find a way to make like two grand right now. You are fucking yourself. You are shooting yourself in the foot because you, on a practical level, you don't need two grand. You don't need 500 bucks. You don't need 600 bucks. We as humans, we do this way too much. We confuse want with need. Here is what you need. You need roof overhead. You need food on table. You need water to drink and you need place to sleep. You don't need any, there may be an argument you may need social interaction. That may be the fifth one. You don't need anything else. You want a Ferrari. You want not to drive a piece of shit car. You want to not have to eat McDonald's or Burger King. You want to take a vacation. You want to have more followers. You want two grand or 400 bucks or 600 bucks or 80 grand a month or $80 right now. You want those things. You don't need those things. But the minute in your brain you tell yourself, I need it instead of want it, you mislabel it. Well, now you are feeding that neediness muscle and you're making yourself incredibly unattractive to money. See, this is why people are like, it's funny, like the more money I get, the more money I seem to, to make, right? It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. The reason is when someone starts to get money, all of a sudden that neediness and desperation goes down. Without doing anything, they actually start to become more attractive to money because they already got some. They don't need it the way someone who's broke needs it. And so they're more attracted to money. And so more money flows into their life through deals and, and other opportunities and things like that. The person who doesn't have money, they confuse need with want. They're desperate. They're needy. And they seem to can't get any money. So what do you do? Right? Well, you recognize you don't need money. You don't need it. Right? You want it. You don't need it. And once you realize that, I understand that like this is very intellectual. And you're still going to be like, all right, Jason. It makes sense in my head, but I still like, like, dude, I still want two grand. Like I, I want two grand, dude. Like I get that. Right. You may need to not fake it till you make it. We have a better saying than that. How about practice until it becomes natural? How about you practice not being needy about money, not being needy about that client, not being needy about getting that conversion or landing that signing that deal with that prospect or whatever. You practice being non-needy and not desperate with those things. You ask yourself something like, well, if I had $8,500 a month just rolling in already for my businesses, how would I treat this person? How would I treat this prospect? If I had $150,000 sitting in my bank account just tucked away for me and my family, how would I go about getting clients? How would I go about um, having this conversation with this potential customer? Your whole mentality and frame starts to change. And instead of you thinking, I need this client, you become more relaxed about it. You're more patient with it. You're willing to play a longer game. And this is how you have to be, right? And even though your reality isn't this, you're going to fake it till you make it. You're going to practice until it becomes natural. You're going to practice being non-needy 
until you actually are not needy because you have the clients and the resources and things like that. Does that make sense? If you get this, just give me a yes in the chat. I want to make sure that this is getting in. 